So here is everything you need to take to clean it completely. This solution is for frother. It ruins all the old milk protein in the pipe. And if you do not clean it properly from time to time, then it may lead to this very bad smell in your boiler. These are tablets for your coffee grinder. I will show you in this video how they work. You should take one portion of it and clean it at least once in three months. Next is the skull solution. It's for all the inner systems in your coffee machine. Even if you think that your water is soft enough, please don't ignore this step because just because you want your coffee machine to serve you for 10 or 20 years, right? So just do it. It's cheap and easy. And the last part of coffee machines that you'd better to clean regularly is the group. This black rubber sink is a part of blind filter. You need to take one tablet of this cleaning solution, put it in the holder and it will clean the group both inside and outside. Now I will show you everything. The first thing I'm doing is taking off the water softener. Now I'm gonna fill the water tank with warm water. I'm taking warm water because it will help the discal solution to dissolve quickly. Now I'm turning on the machine and putting one packet of the solution into the water. Now you need to use something plastic to mix it well. Please don't put your hands inside. As long as your machine is heated and ready to be used, you should put a large bowl under everything. Or you may use several smaller bowls or cups as you wish. And just turn it on. The idea here is to replace old water in boilers with the one with discal solution. So you need to pour approximately 300 mm of water, that's one cup. Firstly, through the group. I forgot to switch on the second boiler. This will be enough. And as for the second boiler, it's not necessary for you to use the frother. You can just use this sink for hot water. But still you need to turn on the steam because in this coffee machine hot water will not come out without the preheated steam boiler. Well, you see, this was completely unnecessary. Unless you wish to wash your walls. So this was the end of our first cleaning iteration. It's time to turn the machine off. And now you should wait 20 minutes for water to work. 20 minutes later. Now you need just to repeat all the actions shown before. Then wait another 20 minutes and repeat everything for the third time till the water tank is empty. Do not forget to check your water tank if you have a one boiler machine. Now you should fill in the water tank with the clean water. Turn on the machine and prepare everything for the second step of cleaning. You need to take some glass with a small diameter and it should be high. Now it's time for milk eater. You need to put your frother in it and leave for approximately one hour. Within this time, it will dissolve all the residues of milk. Now it's time to clean the group. You should take this rubber part. It is used for a blind filter. By the way, it was my mistake. This is a blind filter. I believe that you also have it as a part of your coffee machine set and as for me, I just forgot about its existence. So, you use a blind filter, put inside this rubber sink and put one tablet of solution. In such a way, 
it will preserve the hot water under pressure to spill out. Moreover, it will go inwards and thoroughly clean the group. Just like this. You should let this fake extraction last no more than 10 seconds. As I forgot to turn off the press pill, I wait for 13 or 14 seconds. By the way, right now on the video I decided to turn it off finally. So let me show you one more time. That's it. You should repeat this procedure around 10 more times. If you see that your basket is not clean enough, then you can put one tablet of this solution in a bowl, dissolve it and leave it for one hour. By the way, here is how this milky water cleans the tray without any effort. I believe that it really can clean the group. Now you should put a blind filter and repeat everything with fresh, clean water without any cleaning solutions. Because you don't want to have some chemicals in your cup of coffee, right? And the last step of cleaning the grinder. You should put one packet of these tablets instead of coffee beans in your grinder. Now remove the grains container and clean it with warm soap water. Hello! Do not forget to turn it off from electricity. Now it's time to disassemble it and clean all the parts with the brush. You should move the arrow in the direction of numbers increase and at some point it will fall out. Now just brush off all the residues Here is how to disassemble it totally Don't be afraid to use this brush in all the possible ways, nothing will be damaged. Also, don't forget to clean everything inside the grinder. And if you have a vacuum cleaner, I would suggest to use it, because it's very convenient. As long as everything is ready, just assemble it. You should put two blue arrows together and then move everything in the direction against the clock arrow. After the grinder cleaning, it's necessary to grind some coffee beans before the beans you are planning to drink.
just throw them away. Now your frother is totally clean inside. You should put some steam through it. And I am using just a standard cleaning solution for my coffee machine. It should be made to fight against scale. Now this beautiful Miss Sylvia is totally clean and she's ready for new amazing coffee journeys. I hope you find my video helpful. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me in the comments. I wish you great coffee moments and please subscribe to my channel.